All right, people, hay fever's absolutely destroying me right now, so I couldn't do another live commentary today, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna do my best with this today instead. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. This is kind of an open discussion, this video, encompassing a few topics revolving around Battlefield 5, the Battlefield series, my content, and the future. I'm gonna dispel some myths and clear up some inaccuracies, and not everyone will agree with everything I say today, that's totally fine. Doesn't make anyone a bad person or anything like that. We can have different thoughts and feelings, uh, and I hope to get your opinions in the comments below. Anything I say today, your feedback is welcome. Let me know what you think, as long as it's, you know, suitably respectful and reasonable. So I've heard hundreds or maybe thousands of times during BF5 that I'm a hater or whatever else, and also a shill sometimes, which is very confusing. And so that's actually the reason for the thumbnail today. But no, I don't actually consider myself to be a hater. I don't hate the game, nor have I ever had the intention of being a hater. I've simply honestly covered the game for you guys in a way that I see its overall reception and success levels backing up what I have to say, meaning basically if the game was so great and without issues, then why did it get cancelled so early? And yet, as many of you can tell, I've continued to play the game, because the channel is built on Battlefield, so duh, but also, I will continue to play the game, which has also brought some people to ask, why are you still playing the game, it's dead, go play Warzone, or whatever else, and I am mixing in other games, but the point is, I will still play BF5 sometimes, and that confuses people. Well, essentially, it's about variation combined with consistency to not throw away everything I've built and to keep pleasing different sections of my community. So while this channel is branching out into other Battlefield games, such as the BF4 video I made the other day, which was received really well, thank you very much for that. My aiming feels... Okay. What is happening? Did I... Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't know that was a mechanic in the game. Plus, adding other games that aren't Battlefield, I still will be on Battlefield 5 from time to time because it's what a huge percentage of you join the channel for. But if I'm doing that, then I'm also changing my outlook and output. Just quickly here, a public service announcement or shameless plug. Each new person that hits subscribe will cause me to mash my butt cheeks up with my hands for approximately three seconds. If you're into that, then great. If not, then uh, I guess just be boring and subscribe if you enjoy the content and you haven't done so before. The current goal is to hit 50k subs and I appreciate every single person who helps the channel to get there and in return I'll do my best to keep you entertained. So yeah, basically, if I'm going to keep playing BF5, don't expect more videos detailing its failings unless new information comes to light or I decide to do some massive analysis at some point way down the line. For the foreseeable future, I'm done with that. In the not too distant past, I did my full autopsy of the game, followed up by looking at the numbers which tell a story of failure for BF5, and those two videos combined have between 400 and 500,000 views, so I feel like I've done my bit now for that. I don't want to just flog a dead horse, and I see no point in adding any more fuel to the fire. The game is basically finished now, and so my continuing to play it is entirely my choice. Nobody's forcing me to do so, and so my desire and reason to complain about it and point out its failings, well that's basically gone now. I've said my piece. It was never about hating the game, wanting to harm it, wanting to cause problems for those involved in it or anything like that. It was that it was relevant to discuss its failings and call out its massive shortcomings while it was the active title. For me, that was the honest and valuable thing to do for the community. But we know all of that now, and whatever good could come out of that has now happened, and I hope that the lasting effect of that is a better Battlefield 6, that they will learn from these mistakes that myself and many others have pointed out. And so, for those of you who have been around for a while and might be aware of this, I do have more information regarding BF5's troubled life, information I've held back so as not to expose innocent parties, and because I didn't simply want to see everything burn. And now that information will remain unheard, unless something changes at some point. Because trust me when I say, it serves no purpose being aired now. I'm not Battlefield Thanos or anything like that, although I did enjoy that joke at one point. I was just a concerned and outraged onlooker, so I shared what was reasonable, and to my detriment some degree in terms of furthering my position with Dice etc. It kind of cut me off, but I still think it was the right thing to do from my position. And therefore, with that all in mind, there will be more videos on BF5 at times, I imagine, although at the minute I have no idea what they might be, as there won't be any new content to cover, but more importantly, I intend to stream BF5, and so I'll be doing my absolute best to do that in a positive fashion, not too seriously, accepting its flaws, without any massive desire to try hard and do well, I just want to have a good time and keep you guys out 
they're entertained and kind of fill a gap in the streaming market for BF5. I don't want to be like anyone else that's streaming it because what's the point of me doing what they're already doing? So expect a focus on fun, on doing challenges, on laughing at myself and screwing up and whatever else. Yes, I can play this game to a decent degree, but that's not what I'm going for. And I think a lot of BF5 streams have become very toxic and negative because the game kind of drags the streamer down. So I don't want that to be the case for me and I don't want that to be the case for you when you're watching. If I'm choosing to play it, I want to accept its problems and focus on the good stuff. That being enjoyment, growth, and hanging out with those who watch. And I'll be doing that streaming here on YouTube, at least for now, making it very easy for you guys to find me and tune in if you wish to do so. I don't have a set date for streaming starting yet, but I hope it won't be too far off in the future. Oh, and yes, actually, while we're on this topic, for a brief time last year, I was streaming on Mixer and then I stopped. Long story short, because I never really covered it, I had opportunities elsewhere, which I won't go into details about. I ended up not going for it and then I didn't return to Mixer as I was pretty sure it was going to fail at some point. And just the other day, it was announced that Mixer Operations will be shutting down and that service will now be melding into being a part of Facebook Gaming. On this occasion, I really wish I hadn't been right and anyone that put time and effort into Mixer and has been heavily affected by its coming closure, I'm really sorry for you. Please regroup and take what you learned to a different platform. Don't give up if you still want to do this. Anyway, back to our focus. Please don't take my deciding that I want to now simply entertain and focus on the positives for BF5 and other games as removing your right to complain about it. I don't think you're wrong to do so and I don't support what DICE produced at all and if, like me, you bought the game at full price, maybe even the deluxe edition like I did, I don't doubt that some of you will still feel angered by how things turned out. It's just that my complaining, as I guess a public figure, holds no value now the game is basically over. And when BF6 drops, or whatever it's going to be called, I'll then once again cast my critical eye over proceedings and cover the game as I see fit. If it's great, I'll say so. If it's bad, I'll say so, and anything in between. And so while we're on that subject, how is BF5 now it's essentially complete in terms of content? Well, in my opinion, it's in about as good a state as we could realistically hope for, considering the flawed core design of many elements, at least in some regards. Not all, and we'll get to those. It isn't how I really want an FPS game to be in a lot of ways, but we do now have a decent amount of maps with some variation, despite some of them being widely accepted as poor maps. Uh, there are though a lot of weapons, even if the balancing is kind of suspect in some ways. And if you've never played the game before, then there's actually a huge amount to experience when you consider all of those weapons, maps, vehicles, etc. And due to RSP or private games, it is now possible to play front lines or rush or domination and such like from time to time, rather than having to wait for it to be the weekly temporary playlist. Something I really hope to not see happen in Battlefield 6. If the game releases with core modes, don't take them away. It's not a good practice. And take notes from BF1, where they throw in these random modes every now and again, as the temporary playlist, like back to basics and stuff like that. But it's not all rosy on BF5, of course. PC players especially will tell you about hackers, streamers will tell you about stream snipers and cheaters, the general player base will tell you about the game still lacking a good team balancer, and other obvious pretty unacceptable problems like that. But overall, the game is playable, at least for me, and I don't hate it. I can enjoy it, at least for a time, when at some points before, I felt like I really couldn't enjoy the game at all. It's still not really what I play for out and out fun. That would be more so Destiny 2 and sometimes Teamfight Tactics. But jumping onto BF5 with friends or hopping into stream it seems like a good time to me, where the negativity just isn't necessary anymore from me specifically. And as I didn't mention this earlier, I won't just stream BF5. I'll likely make that my kind of regular thing or Battlefield games in general. But then other times I just stream whatever I happen to be playing. If I'm playing Destiny with my friends, then it makes sense I let those of you who want to watch do so, even if it's obviously a lot less people. And I'll consider picking up new games when they release and just playing through them on stream. That seems like a good time for me and for you while that game is kind of relevant in case you don't want to play it yourself but you'd like to see what it's like. And so yeah, that's where we are now. My critical or review period for BF5 is basically over, which is a relief really. Despite not having a clear path for content now until the next Battlefield game, it does feel good to not have that burden weighing on me of talking about BF5 
five and if it's good or bad and what they should be doing and all that kind of stuff. And I would have much rather been able to sing beer five's praises for a year and a half or two years or whatever. The game being a success would also have been better for my channel, but sometimes such is life. Things don't always go how you want them to, and I look forward to whatever is to come. I fully intend to keep focusing on entertainment. Some of you have asked for more stuff like the beer four video the other day, so I'm planning more like that. And yeah, any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If not, maybe a dislike. Subscribe if you're new and want to help me hit that 50k target. Leave me your opinions in the comments and all the links to my social media, including Patreon, can be found in the description and my pinned comment. Where if you do support me on Patreon, you'll join the board of awesome we're seeing right here with all the other epic people who already do so. They're all absolute heroes and loved more deeply and of course, often. So yeah, all the links to that and everything else in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm of course Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Laters. What am I hurt by? Why did that hurt me so much? Is that a long way in this game to jump down? Hello there. Oh, hi.